Hey everyone, it's Rockbro Ryan here. Welcome uh, to my new Let's Play. Now, I know it's been a while, but I am finally ready to show you guys this new thing. The first thing I would like to really quickly show you is um, this. On the tap on the top left corner of the screen, you'll see a different me uh, rather than the me that than the me that my brother uses. If you're new to the channel, the me that I use is uh, like tanned and is red, and like has a red shirt. And my brother, I think, uses a, a me uh, that has a purple shirt. But anyways, this is gonna be our new uh, Rocky Bros me, which we're gonna be using for uh, our all of our Let's Plays um, that have anything to do with uh, the Wii U's console. So, as you can see, my new Let's Play. Mario Kart 8. Now what is it, Mario? Mario Kart 8! Okay, I'm sorry if the timing is bad on that, but... Now, um, we address here is that... This is gonna be really different compared to how you usually do one. Because I'm, I've been playing Mario Kart games for a long, long, long time. I'm going to be, I'm going to be doing the uh, 150cc, and I'm gonna get a gold on all eight um, cups, and I'm gonna do mirror mode. Um, because basically, uh, I don't know why, but in this game, if you get, let's say, car up for 150cc, which I'm hoping we can do right now, then it'll count towards 100cc and 50cc as well. So, let's just start with a main man, Yoshi. Now, I really like Yoshi, but I'll try to choose guys, uh, like, like different guys throughout the, um, throughout the race, but this is what I'd recommend for someone, like, that's just starting the game. Yoshi... Uh, where is it? Where is it? Um, uh, I can't find the wheels I usually like. Maybe they're not unlocked yet. I'll just use standard for the hell of it and super glider definitely. And also, if you press uh, the start button or the plus button, you can uh, see your stats, which I'm okay with. So, let's do this. And yeah, we are going to be starting with the new cups and then we're going to be doing the retro cups. Yeah, probably. I might change it uh, just as a little surprise, but uh, for this episode here, we're definitely going to be um, competing in the Mushroom Cup. Alright. So yeah, right in the first track, they're already showing you the new anti- stuff. And I thought it was going to be a really cool installment. And let me just say right now, it is. It is insane. And yeah, my first... Oh, that is convenient. My first item of the entire thing is obviously my best item. The green shell. No, really. In all of Mario Kart, this is my favorite item because it's not only... But it's also strategic and very skillful because you have to like because sometimes if you're like second it's like last lap and there's a guy in front of you first you just have to snipe with a green shell and bam you in but it, it's not as easy as it sounds it takes as i already said a lot of strategy and skill and uh in case anyone's wondering i am not using the wii remote i'm using the wii game pad and and that is exactly what i meant for this game I tried using the Wii remote and it sucked because in this game there's no automatic like Mario Kart Wii. You have to drift. Meaning, if you're using the Wii remote, you have to press B. Which, in case you're not aware of the Wii remote's um, technology and where the buttons are, the B button is on the back of the controller. Which I don't know. Some people might like it, but I personally, well, I don't hate it. I dislike it. Well, 
it's starting out much easier than I anticipated because to be honest, I played the game constantly when it first came out, which was around like the start of June. But now that it's like mid-July when I'm recording this, I I haven't played this in weeks, so don't judge me if I'm not as good as you would expect me to be. Like if I'm doing the last kind of stuff. The Mario games is Mario Kart games are definitely my thing. Because my first ever Mario game, or game for that matter, was Mario Kart Double Dash, so racing's well, racing and video games has always been my blood. So yeah, we finished first there, so let's just head on to the next track, which um I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be really honest here. Maybe it's just I've been playing this game or, or Mario Kart game for a really long time. But I just don't like the easy tracks. And when the easy tracks don't have anything that I find extraordinary about them, they suck in my opinion. And unfortunately, Water Park is, in my opinion, the worst track in the entire, no, not the entire game, but it's the worst new track. I don't know, I just feel like, especially, ridiculous. These small turn kind of things have just been done way too much. Well, it's a water park. Of all people, you wouldn't expect it to be owned by Wario. Okay, maybe because of the WarioWare games, but yeah, just something, there's just something about this track that I just dislike. I don't hate any of these tracks. I just, I just think it kind of sucks compared to everything else. Blue shells. Okay, well, speaking of blue shells, I might as well talk about it now. Basically, I'm happy with blue shells in this game. I'm actually very satisfied with them. You can, uh, what's it called? Probably go a full four races and only get hit by a blue shell twice at the max. Like, blue shells, a lot of people, um, were disappointed in the earlier installments of this franchise that they were, they pop up way too much. In this game, it's not my biggest concern when I'm in first place. Really, I'm not as scared as I used to be of them because they don't pop up as much as they used to in the original games. And I'm pretty sure there's not a soul out there that doesn't like that. Like, I'm pretty sure everyone's happy with them toning this uh, blue shot back down. But, anyways. Oh, man. I think me at first, owning everyone. I'm sorry. But, really, when I first played this game, I don't know if it was just the different controls that got me at first, but this game was actually difficult to me at start. And it seemed like the computer players were actually really, really tough, and that I had a hard time against them. Basically, the thing is, if you start the race in the top six, you'll do well. If you start the race in the bottom six, you'll probably end up, like, staying Areas maybe fifth or sixth if you get a lucky item. Alright. Oh my god, I just realized I still haven't talked about the controls and it's the third race already. So basically, as I just did, uh, you press the go button to just uh, start two seconds before my right at the start of the thing, like as, as fast as possible. It works for about 50% of the time. What I do is recommended you can buy the official uh, manual from Mario Kart 8. And it, I recommend it to anyone rather than my brother's way. But I guess if you like my brother's way of doing it right away and like starting up uh, like before 3, I guess it's good. But yeah, press the uh, button. You go Basically, the go button is uh, A, which you have to press the ball to play the game. Okay, this is some really basic stuff. I'm sorry. Okay, uh, to look behind you, you press X. Drift to press ZR. Now, keep in mind, this is the game has controls. I'll probably explain the way more controls right after. Um, you can also press R to drift and jump. 
uh, L or Z L to uh, use your item, which I'm not going to do yet because this item that I'm holding, this horn light item, is called the Super Horn. And in case you haven't heard of it yet, it's, the new, it's one of the newest items added into this franchise, which is one of the only things that can deflect a blue shell. Once again, another reason why the blue shell isn't that much of a problem in this game, because you finally get a good item in first. Always getting like banana peels and green shells and other items that can't do much. Watch this. Bam! Just deflected a blue shell, just like that. Now, I will admit that doesn't usually happen, but yeah. It can happen to you sometimes, but when it does, it just feels so satisfying. Okay, why is that? Okay, this is what I mean by. Just like that. I, oh man, I feel bad for him now because I knocked him all the way down the fourth. Okay, but yeah, moving on to the final race of the Mushroom Cup. Man, this is going by quickly. Okay, so now I'm going to explain the Wii Remote people that are wondering out there. Um, I think the two button is to uh, go and stuff. The one button is to like, break and stop. And also, going back to the Wii U game pass controls, the um, B button is to go, is to slow down and go backwards, which I'll just show you right now because I'm tired of this easy combination. Um, uh, Going back to the Wii Remote controls, I think you have, yeah, you press B to like jump and drift. You uh, I think you press A to use your items on the Wii Remote controls, and then you press the D-pad. No, the D-pad is using controls, and then you're up on the D-pad would be going forwards and. Um, I'm guessing the backwards on the D-pad would be for the play, but, um, oh yeah, and, uh, the blue shells now travel on the ground, so that's another reason why if you're in first you don't have to worry about them too much, because the blue shell will go in the middle of the road and be an absolute asshole to you, and just on the road you're driving on it, just bonk you all out of the way, like, as if it's some red shell on steroids. I really don't have any better way of explaining it. <laughs> okay. And, um, uh, another useful super fun right there. more about the Wii Remote controls. If I remember anything else, I'll tell you guys in a later video. But it's just not coming to my mind right now. Um, what else? Oh yeah. I just fell off there when uh, the guy hit me with the thing on the jump. And basically, if someone hits you with an item on, uh, what's it called? If someone hits you with an item on the fall off and, uh, Back two will steal three points from you, but you'll keep your item. And the weird thing is, you can actually see Lakitu steal your points from you because on his uh, thing that like he shows you to like do the th whole three, two, one, go thing. I don't know what it's called. Sorry about that. Basically, that thing, whatever it is called, um, will have three co where the lights are supposed to be. I think that was a very creative and uh, funny um, addition to Lakitu, but wait, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to um, show the, um, the highlight real thing. In fact, uh, next time we're going to, uh, next time we are going to, you know, uh, go into the 